Hi guys, it's Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I want to talk about the new nibs from Copic, but I'm going to insert a little video or piece of a video that I did on my other channel. And this is the super brush nib, which we all know and love. This is the chisel nib, which only us airbrushers appreciate. Most people don't use that very often. And Copic now has a replacement. It's a bullet nib. It's a hard nib called Sketch Fine. I'm probably going to still refer to it as a bullet nib, so forgive me if I do. But this nib, you can just pop back into the space where the chisel nib was. Leave that fat part sticking out. The reason is because you need your Copic tweezers to pull it out if you have to re-ink your marker. Don't shove it in there too far or you'll have trouble getting it back out and you'll ruin that new nib that you just put in there. But you can take it out and put it back in by using your Copic tweezers to do so. And I've tried it with regular tweezers. The Copic ones grab it better, so they're only a few bucks and I do recommend them. For re replacing my ink, I just wrap a Kleenex around it and put a bunch of drops in. About 40 drops will fill a super dry sketch marker. And then you just turn it over. You can see the ink comes right into the nib and it's ready to write. And that's the size of that bullet nib. And this is the size of the super brush nib. So you can see the difference between them. Those nibs have been out for a little while and I have had a lot of people ask me questions about which markers they should change the nibs out on. Because you're changing out the chisel nib, you still have your regular super brush nib to use with your coloring, but what would be the reason for doing it? Well, if you have enough money and you want to go buy these nibs for all of your markers, please feel free to rock on and do that. I don't want to change out all of mine for one really big reason is I do airbrushing once in a while and I want to have colors available to me. If I change out all of these nibs, I'm not going to be able to use them for my airbrush because you need the, the chisel nib for that. However, what I'm doing is as I come across an image that I need a really fine point for, I will just switch out that marker. And I switched out uh, a few months ago just to see if I would use them. Um, I switched out probably half a dozen, eight or nine maybe, markers and just picked some bright colors. And this was the first image that I really found like this really helps on an image like this big time. Now for some people, they have more trouble than I do with the brush nib. I'm able to use the brush nib in a lot of cases that other people aren't because I have a lot of practice with it, a lot of control over the tip of that nib. But if you're one of those people that does a lot of flowers and you have a lot of stems that you do on, on flowers, or if you do a lot of hair and you want to have fine control of making lines in hair, then change out some of those. I wouldn't change all of them out just because you're spending a lot of money on nibs that you may not need to do that with. But do it as you go. Do it as you find a need for one because then you're going to know that you're actually going to use that one. You might make a guess at what colors, like when I chose a whole bunch of bright colors, I made a guess at just a few of them because I wanted to try the nibs and make a video for my other channel that you just saw to talk about them. But I, as I said, haven't found myself pulling open this nib in order to, to use it. It's just not been something that's very commonplace in the kinds of things that I color. It may be different for you. And I invite you to try that yourself. Just get a couple packs of them to keep in your Copic case and have your little nib, your little nib tweezer thingies handy. And do make sure that you don't shove it in too far because I did that and ruined one of them. So just push it as far as you can so that you can still grab that nib and pull it back out again. But the nib is a very hard one, as you can see. It's very sharp. It's not going to, as far as I can tell from my short use of it, it's not going to get soft and floppy on you. You know, the, the sketch nibs do tend to soften over time with a lot of use, that sort of thing. But it seems like it's going to last really well. The ones that I've had in my original markers, because the original markers have that nib on the other end of them, have lasted the whole time I've had them, which is years. So I think that it's going to have a long shelf life for itself. Now, as for saving the old chisel nibs, that's another question. How would you save it so that you can use it again? Well, I wouldn't necessarily know. I decided not to keep them. I tossed the ones that I took out of here because they're gonna dry out unless you can put them in something that's gonna be vacuum sealed and hold in the moisture. 
your nib is probably going to dry out and get all cracked and crusty. If you've ever had a marker that sat open for a really long time, even if you try to put more ink in it or you try my little trick of putting it in a paper bag or paper bag, put it in a plastic bag with a little bit of colorless blender in there and try to massage it and loosen it up, even so, if it is completely crusty dry, it's generally not regenerable. So if you're going to make the commitment that you're going to change out the markers, I would just make the commitment. Just decide you're going to do it. And if you need that color again, go buy a second marker because obviously you like that color and you use it a lot and it would therefore be worth having two of them. So look at all that fine detail I was able to get in doing those little stripes on the zebra, the stripes on the lion using that really fine nib and I will keep some of them. I do have, as you maybe know if you've watched enough of my videos, I'm using different washi tape on the markers that I've changed those nibs out for so I know which ones have the bullet nib. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. You can click to subscribe to my channel. You can go see a Copic class, watch some more videos, whatever you'd like to do, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.